Hey everyone, Vayne is one of the most fun AD carries you can play. It can either go really well or right down the toilet. So let's try and get you to avoid that second option with a short guide that you can watch even during champion select. Vayne is one of the strongest single target AD carries that is notorious for being a late game monster. She can kite extremely well, has high damage, has stealth and a stun to dual people. The downside is going to be that you have shorter range, no real ability damage or burst and you have to be auto attacking to do any meaningful damage. This is a very common rune page for Vayne to increase your damage. You'll be proccing Pressy Attack and Silver Bolts together without even really thinking about it too much. And this variation also has built-in healing to help you duel better too. Skill Order can either be maxing Q or W, but we recommend W right now for damage, into Q for mobility, and finally your E. When it comes to items for Vayne, first of all, you have your Mythic ones. Now, Kraken Slayer gives you another three hit passive for bonus damage and also means all of your other items give attack speed. You can also use the Immortal Shield Bow that gives pretty good damage, but more life steal on a shield when you drop down. That makes you tankier, but less damage overall. When it comes to attack speed, you have a few options, but Phantom Dancer gives you that attack speed and kiting, which definitely helps you stay alive. And then Rage Bait can be a pretty good option for more percentage health damage and Kraken Slayer damage. You've also got Infinity Edge that is going to be core for almost all crit builds just because it's such a huge damage boost and Blade the Ruined King that gives you more damage and healing especially which is really good with the Rage Blade. If you want healing reduction you've got your Mortal Reminder that applies Grievous Wounds which can be really useful and then for defensive items you have things like Guardian Angel versus Burst or Assassins and Mercurial Scimitar versus Crowd Control. When it comes to easier lanes, Vayne can actually bully champions that have weaker lanes by trading often with her Q and Silver Bolt procs, or she can simply outscale champions like Callista later. Against hard lanes, you're going to struggle a bit more if they have better range or normally burst damage. You should try to use your Q to tumble away after CSing or try to avoid being poked as much as possible so you can't be burst down and killed. Vayne is going to do best with enchanters normally who can buff and protect her. So champions like Lulu and Yumi are exceptional in teamfights that protect and increase her damage too. The other sides of this can be Nami and Janna who also do that, but they can help a little bit more in the lane phase with their own poke or heals and shields to keep you CSing and getting gold for longer. So in the lane phase, how you use your Q really depends on the lane. In easier matchups, you want to trade by using auto attack, Q auto attack to proc your passive. In harder lanes, you want to walk forward to CS and then Q backwards afterwards to not take any return damage and not get poked down. For a very expensive but really good trade, you can use auto attack QE to your target, which will proc silver bolts and send them flying backwards, unable to return any damage to you. After level 6 as well, you then can try to let them push a little bit into your tower, not quite the whole way, but that means that with your ultimate, you can easily chase them down in most lanes for a kill. When we get to teamfights, you want to use your stealth to kite as much as possible, changing directions with your Q to Duke opponents, and that's going to be key. Vayne is an absolute tank shredder, so usually you're just going to be hitting the closest target, burning them down as fast as possible, and then moving on to everybody else. Vayne's short range can sometimes make approaching teamfights a bit difficult as well, so often you can maintain this kind of position at the edge of a teamfight and wait until enemy cooldowns have been burnt, health bars are lower before you really push in aggressively. Vayne's damage is also heavily reliant on her silver bolt, so you want to make sure that you're proccing that over and over and not switching between targets too often, otherwise your damage is really going to suffer. If you're feeling spicy, you can also try to hunt down opponents mid to late game. As long as you land your condemned stun, you're going to win most of those duels. So finally, we have some tips and tricks. Now, you should always try to avoid using your tumble, your Q straightforward. It makes hitting any crowd control or damage very easy. So instead, just tumble at an angle forward to chase. When somebody is pretty close as well, you want to use E and flash immediately to change the direction of the push. You can stun into a wall without having any time to react and that will get you a ton of kills, but it also isn't as hard as it looks. And finally, poking with Vayne is pretty normal, but one way you can level that up is if you have a Kraken Slayer, you can have the first two auto attacks stacked on a minion and then Q forward dealing a huge amount of very unexpected bursts. So that wraps up a short guide on how to impress everybody with your Vayne. Good luck on the rift.